Hey everybody, welcome back to Dinner and a Tip. So we are going back old school again. Last time we did original chow mein, and now we are going to do a beef stroganoff. So I'm going to go ahead and start with some sirloin steak strips, but I'm going to want to do a marinade from this um, just because I think it always helps to marinate your meat a little bit ahead of time. Oh my Lord Jesus. Okay. So I got the Better Than Bouillon. If you haven't tried these, these things are amazing. So I'm just going to do a good tablespoon of this. I'm going to do a half a cup of water, and I'm just going to go ahead and give this a good mix. And then I'm going to go ahead, I've got some errands to do, so I'm going to go ahead and do this marinade first, and then I can come back and go ahead and cook our recipe. But So we're also going to do couple of tablespoons of soy sauce for this one. We're going to do a couple of tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And then I'm just going to go ahead and throw some garlic with the actual juices from the garlic. So next up, we're just going to go ahead and open the steak. And I want to go ahead and give this a good mix before I go ahead and pop our steaks in here. Make sure that that bouillon mixture is actually all, uh, I don't want to use the word melted, but eh, you know what I'm trying to say. So, so with the strips of sirloin, this is a little bit tender of a meat. You could do stew meat, but you definitely want to marinate it longer because I think it's going to take, it won't be as soft. It'll be like a harder, chewier meat. So because I'm going to do this as a stroganoff, I'm going to actually just kind of cut, cut these in bite-sized pieces. And then we're just going to go ahead and throw these in here. I'm going to kind of break these up because I want to make sure that the meat is going to be completely covered with this. So, And then we're going to add some onions and mushrooms later on when we get to our cooking. But to me, the marinade is... First and foremost, most important thing we want to go ahead and get done with this. So I've got everything in here and I'm just going to kind of give it a quick mix, make sure everything is covered. And I'm going to give this probably about an hour to marinate. Like I said, I've got some stuff I got to do. So I love being able to go ahead and get started and then come back and get my cooking done. See you soon. So we're back. So now our steak is marinated. But first, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and work on the broth. So I've got two cups of water, and I'm going to go ahead and use this beef broth again. So we've got four, uh, two cups, so I'm going to do about two tablespoons of the broth. And this is what's going to give flavor to our sauce. You want to go ahead and give that a quick mix. Just going to go ahead and throw that in here. So, next up, let's get our steak. So we have this marinated, and I'm gonna go ahead and keep the marinade with the steak. And yes, I'm aware that my grill is very lopsided today, but, woo, it's on fire. Actually, I love it. I can already smell all the soy sauce, the Westchester sauce. The marinade on this is great. This is what's actually going to bring your meat to the next level. So let's go ahead and keep cooking that on high. And so I want that sauce to start thickening up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the soy, or like one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. There goes the dog, fun police. Literally nothing for them to bark about, but that does not stop them. So, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick mix. So when you're doing a sauce and you need it thickened, make sure you, if you're doing, whether it's flour or cornstarch, that you mix it so it's nice and smooth. This is what you're looking for. If you go ahead and put it straight in, it's never going to thicken up. So, or actually it'll thicken up, but you'll have like really big clumps and that's not what you're looking for. So, I'm gonna move my steak to the hotter part of my grill. Woo! I don't know if it's the steak is so hot or it's that cold outside. Probably a little bit of both. So next, let's go ahead and get some butter and we're gonna go ahead and saute 
our onions and mushrooms for this. All right. Things just aren't cooperating the way I would like them today, but that doesn't matter. We're going to keep cooking because we need to. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down some onions. I'm going to get that butter right in the onions so those continue to cook. The steak is almost done. So because the steak is done and I've kind of got the juices and stuff off, I feel okay commingling my vegetables with the steak. But And then let's go ahead and throw our mushrooms right in there. So we're trying to keep that stuff separate. All right, we need a little bit of extra butter for this one today. You want your your mushrooms and your onions to be soft for this one. So our steak is just about done. You don't want to overcook this steak, but you want it all the way done for this meal. So I'm going to move this down. I don't know if it's, you guys have the same problem, but there's definitely some hotter spots on my grill than others. So, all right. so we're getting this to a little bit of a boil because we want to get this thickening up here a little bit. So, all right. And in true fashion, because I was in such a hurry to do this, I forgot an ingredient. So, <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. So the secret ingredient, or not so secret, is about a half a cup of sour cream. I'm gonna go ahead and get that mixed in here. And yes, you can certainly do this recipe inside, but I actually love cooking my steak outside on a grill or griddle. I think it just is a better option, so. All right, I've got that sour cream all the way mixed in, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw our steak in here. And go ahead and let that thicken up a little bit. Definitely got some runaway steak. I'm gonna give these mushrooms a little bit more time to cook up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw some fresh Italian herbs in here and then I'm gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper even though the steak was marinated I still want the sauce to have a little extra seasoning too so and then everything is better with garlic so I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of garlic in here too so Okay, so we've got our onions and mushrooms are now nice and sautéed, so we're going to go ahead and throw that in here. Okay. So the other thing I did was I pre-cooked my noodles, but they are now on the colder side, so I'm going to go ahead and throw some oil down on this. And if you're pre-cooking your noodles, the one thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you rinse them with cold water because otherwise they are not going to, um, they'll get sticky and you won't be able to get them to separate it. So, all right, so we've got our sauce here thickening up. And the longer the sauce sits, the thicker it's going to become, so that's what we're looking for. And while these noodles are heating up, I do want to test our sauce. Alright, well that's weird. I don't know. Oh, here's this one. This is this one. I always run out of things to bring out with me, so... Now with the beef broth, I actually really enjoy the beef broth. You could do with the bouillon. What I like about that best is it offers a lot more flavor than just a plain old broth. So if you have it, use it. 
but otherwise it's going to work out just fine. So I'm going to give this a quick taste, but basically I'm still going to wait for this sauce to thicken up. It'll probably take about five, 10 minutes for that to happen, but I'm going to go ahead and give this a taste. And it'll look better in the photos, but for right now, we're running out of light, as always, thanks to daylight savings time. But, so this will actually come to a simmer, and once it's simmered and thicker, like you can see right now, the sauce is definitely on the thinner side, but let's go ahead and give it a try anyways. The flavors will be there, you just want it to be a little thicker, that's all. With this, the marinated steak is a huge difference versus just doing it plain without doing anything to it. It offers a lot more flavor to it. So the other thing I did is I put the sour cream in a little early. I think what I would do, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in the notes, is put the sour cream in after it's gotten to be a little thicker and then your sauce will be a little bit smoother. So I'm probably just going to put a little bit of extra sour cream into it. But, other than that, everything else tastes great. Go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you next time.